Hi, I'm Tiny Pirate. This is Two Minute Mods. Today we're looking at four. You heard me right. Four different mods in two minutes. Why are we doing this, I hear you ask? Simple. These are all mods that are easily explained, but they're also really useful. And so they all deserve a few words and an introduction to you, the viewer. Today's mods are Tweak Scale by Biotronic, Real Plume by Felgar, Engine Lighting by Tajampi, and Menu Stabilizer by AG. Tweakscale is a neat mod that, once installed, will let you resize pretty much any part in the game, and many from mods as well. To access Tweakscale's functionality, simply right-click on a part in the assembly building and adjust. Tweakscale adds a great deal of flexibility to your building as you are essentially hugely increasing the range of parts you can play with, and don't worry about balance. Tweakscale elegantly recalculates the cost of your resized parts as well as the volume of your fuel tanks. I love to use Tweakscale when I need really large or really small parts, but don't want to burden my copy of Kerbal Space Program with yet another parts mod. Next, let's look at Real Plume, which is a visual effects mod. It adds realistic engine exhaust plume expansion to engine parts. When I installed it using CCAN, it suggested a number of additional mods, and other than the required ones, I went for the engine lighting mod by Tajampi. The two complement each other beautifully, giving you not only amazing looking engine plumes, but also the lighting to go with it. We spend so much time staring at the backs of rockets, it's awesome to be able to improve how they look. Finally, if you've ever been annoyed by right-click menus bouncing around as a Kerbal pinwheels through space, then the Menu Stabilizer by AG is for you. AG wrote this mod after seeing Scott Manley get frustrated with the right-click context menus when EVAing a Kerbal, and the way that they move around was driving him crazy. Well, with this mod that problem is solved. With your mouse over the menu item, it is stuck still until you can click on a button you want. Thanks AG, I know I've bounced off more than a few craft and stations trying to click that tiny board button. This is no longer a problem. I've been Tiny Pirate, this has been 2 Minute Mods. Subscribe so you don't miss the next exciting episode. I'll catch you soon.